and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. Today is Wednesday, so it's another What I Eat in a Day on WW. And today is packed full of hauls and a little bit of unexpectedness today. Things did not go as planned. So it's going to show you in the life, real life, what happens when your day doesn't quite go as planned. So I'm super excited to share it with you guys. Make sure that if you are new that you take a moment and subscribe. I'd love to have you join my community. Also, if you love what I eat in a days and you always get some good ideas, give this one a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you're checking out that description box down below for all of the products that I share with you today, as well as the link to head on over and check out my nutrition coaching website. I offer macros, calculations. We have one-on-one -on -one support, group support. It's a little bit of something for everyone. So definitely check out my nutrition coaching. I'd love to help you reach your goals. Also, you'll find links, discount codes to all of my other favorite things and the link to head over and join me on Facebook. So head on over and join us there too. So let's jump into another What I Eat in a Day on WW. Just filled up my first water for today. I get a ton of questions on my gallon water bottle. So I wanted to show it to you guys. And again, I'll kind of tell you how I track my water. So I have the big gallon here bottle. Now this I picked up off of Amazon. It's about $20. It's super affordable. It has the cute little sayings and times down the water bottle. So what I do is I fill this up the night before, put it in the refrigerator. That way my water is super, super cold. Now it's a little cumbersome to drink out of a gallon water bottle. Even though this one does have the sip lid and it does have a straw, I just use it to track that I'm drinking a gallon. And then I put it into this smaller bottle that also has the cute times on it. This one I also picked up on Amazon. It was like 12 or $13 and I drink out of this one. So you can see that I've got my limes in there for the day. So what I do is I pour from this into this. And then that way I can put the big gallon back in the fridge so my water stays nice and cold, but I can also track how much water I'm drinking because once this is gone, I've drank a gallon. The small bottle keeps cold long enough for me to drink it. I don't like my water at room temperature. So again, I just use the gallon leave it in my fridge. So when it's gone at the end of the day, I refill it and throw it back in for the next day. So that's kind of how I track my water. So water number one of the day, and I will link both of these bottles down below for you. It's a good day at the Clayton house. My Imperfect Foods order is here. I actually haven't ordered for a while because I went to San Diego. And literally, you guys, when I opened this box, I went, yay, because I was so excited for all of this goodness. Look at this. Yum. So let's pull everything out, and I'll show you what I picked up. So first I grabbed some spinach. I've been putting spinach in my eggs. I've been really trying to add a veggie or a green to breakfast. And then I also like to freeze it and throw it in my smoothies. And then I got this salad kit because it sounds amazing. Maple bourbon bacon chopped kit. So it sounds really good. It's 150 calories for a cup. So I'm excited we'll have that one night as a veggie with dinner. And then I picked up my favorite chips because whenever I can get my hands on these, they're in perfect foods. They're about a dollar less a bag than anywhere else. It's literally potatoes, salt, and avocado oil. And they're so good, you guys. Like, seriously, some of the best chips. And then, let's see. Oh, I got a seasoning. 
So I picked up some turmeric salt. This is a vegan seasoning and I got this because I love turmeric, but I don't really know how to add it to dishes. So I thought if it was mixed with salt, that would make it a little easier. I can just use it in place of regular salt. And then I picked up quite a bit of produce, which is one of my favorite things from Imperfect imperfect produce or imperfect foods. I have some bell peppers. I picked up two. So I have basically an orange and a yellow. I need those for a recipe. And then I always, always get organic grapes because they are so expensive where I live, like ridiculously expensive. And they're really affordable for imperfect foods. So, ooh, I'm excited. Those look good. And then I also got these. So I've never had these before. These are kiwi berries so i don't know you guys let me know down in the comments if you've had these they're like little mini kiwi so it says the safer the berry the sweeter the softer the berry the sweeter the taste so i'm interested to try those i saw that on the website and i was like i have to try those out and then i also picked up some walnuts because they were super affordable i went through all of the walnuts from nut stop and it's baking season so i grabbed these they're raw they're unsalted and this was a really good deal this is a one pound bag and i think it was about five dollars which is unheard of i like to have this in my oatmeal too and it's also oatmeal season and then i have two mini watermelons two little personal watermelons watermelons are literally out of season and so i thought if i could get my hands on a couple other watermelons before they're gone gone I would go ahead and grab them from imperfect foods I have a big stock of organic celery because I've been trying to up my nut butter game and I've been liking nut butter on celery they always give you a refrigerated bag for your cold stuff but before we get into that we also have organic lemons and lime so I believe I have three organic lemons and I think I did two limes because I thought that would be enough for my waters for the week. Now, oh, there's one more thing, a zucchini because we love zucchini in this house. And then in the refrigerated bag, they do such a good job packaging it. There's a big ice block on the bottom and then all of the stuff that has to be kept cold, I think this just kind of rolled its way in there, is in here. So I guess I have three limes, three lemons. So in here I have eggs. I picked these eggs up once before from Imperfect Foods and they're really, really good. These are the Contented Hen Pasture Race Organic Eggs. Really, really good price. And then I grabbed a couple yogurts. I'd never heard of this brand. This is the Grazier's Grass-Fed Cream on Top Whole Milk Yogurt. So it sounds really, really good. It's 109 or 50, 150, 150 calories per container. So I picked up strawberry and also I think another flavor. Oh, blueberry. So I grabbed those because I love yogurt and I want to try those. And then there is, oh, OJ, I picked up some cold pressed 100% orange juice. That means that there's no pulp, there's no from concentrate, there's nothing in there but actual cold pressed juice. So it's in its most natural form. I'm pretty excited about that. And lastly, which is another thing I am so excited about, is I picked up some fresh crab, like legit master crab claw meat. So I'm going to use this to make crab cake. So this is still frozen, which is great. I'm just going to pop it back into the freezer. So again, that's how everything came packaged with the big ice pack. And that is my imperfect foods order for the next couple of weeks. Now I do have a link down below for $10 off your first box. You can pick anything you want. There's no minimum order. So go support imperfect foods, stop food waste and get some really good prices. So here is my breakfast for this morning. I wanted pumpkin, so that's what I'm having. So I have about a half of a cup of grapes for zero. I have one full egg and one egg white with a little bit of the Trader Joe's onion salt for zero. And then this is the star of my breakfast. I have two of the Western Bagel Alternative Pumpkin Baglets. I showed these on Instagram because my order just came. And I'll tell you guys a little later in today's video exactly what I picked up from Western Bagel but one of them were these little baguettes. So these are little mini bagels. They are one smart point a piece until you have two, and then they're three smart points. Don't you love WW Math? They are so good. They're 60 calories a piece. They are seasonal. They only come out for the holiday season for fall, Thanksgiving. So definitely get them while you can. They are literally, you guys, so good. They're the perfect 
pumpkin. I just, I love them. And it is recommended that you store them in the freezer. So pick up a few bags, throw them in your freezer. And what I put on top is two tablespoons of the Trader Joe's pumpkin cream cheese. You guys know I love this. It is three points for two tablespoons. So it's three for the two bagels, three for the cream cheese, make six points. That's it for my breakfast. It's a good solid breakfast. In fact, these bagels have four grams of protein per bagel. So there's eight grams just in my bagel of protein plus my egg. So it's a great breakfast. Highly recommend Western Bagel. Make sure when you order, you pick up the alternative. And again, a little later in today's video, I'll show you a few other kinds and kind of walk through points and things. But my code is Jen's WW Journey for 10% off on the Western Bagel. So this is breakfast and it's six points. So it is just before 10 a.m. I ate breakfast about seven. I'm not hungry enough for a snack. I am going to be editing some videos, so I decided to go ahead and have this bottle of Living in Gratitude. This is the fall edition of GT's Kombucha. It's one of my favorites. It's apple, turmeric, carrot, and spices. I love it so much. So it's three points for the whole bottle or 60 calories. And as you know, I have a really hard time counting three points for 60 calories, but I'm going to do it as directed for today's video. So three smart points. Also coming today is my Western bagel order. So I was so excited. I love the pumpkin bagels. These are so good. They're the little miniature bagels. They're only one smart point a piece and I think they're 60 calories. Let's look. Yep, 60 calories per bagel. They are so good. They only come out seasonally. So get them while you can. I ordered quite a few bags of the pumpkin little baglets. Best thing to do with these bagels is to store them in your freezer. So I'm actually going to pop all of these in my freezer. Look, oh, these are so delicious. They're pre-sliced and everything. Oh my gosh. This is really good with the Trader Joe's pumpkin cream cheese. Huh. So anyways, I picked up four bags of the mini pumpkin bagels. And then I also grabbed some of the perfect 10. Now this is a full size bagel and it's only two smart points. It has a ton of fiber, 20 grams of protein, and only two points, you guys. That's it. And then they have some three-point bagels as well. When you're ordering, make sure you order the alternative bagel. That's the one that's lower in points. So I love the blueberry. So I picked that up. And then I also, this is my other favorite one. This is the cinnamon spice. This one I like around the holidays, so it's a perfect timing. This one is also three points. So all of their full-size bagels are three points with the exception of the Perfect 10 Plus Healthy Grain. That one is only two points. Again, store these in your freezer. They last longer. I just pop one out when I wanna eat it. So speaking of eating, I'm gonna finish up this pumpkin bagel. It's so delicious. I do have 10% off for Western Bagel, and they do have tons of free shipping options as well, so definitely check them out. I'll put my code here on the screen and it is linked down below as well. I finally have hopped on the Pito's bandwagon. I've been seeing this all over social media, YouTube, Instagram, and I jumped in the wagon and picked them up and let me just tell you how amazing they are. So I wanted to share them with you. Again, this is Pito's junk food taste made from peas. So basically it's a healthier version of a potato chip, but equally, if not more delicious. Look, you guys, oh my gosh, I was so excited when this arrived. So thank you Pito's for sending this over. I was skeptical, but you guys, I have tried only one flavor and it was so, so delicious. I'm going to have some with lunch today, so I'll be able to give you my honest feedback as well on another flavor. Oh my gosh, so good. So what I had when I tried them are these Crunchy Rings Pitos, and this is the Fiery Onion. So these had a kick to them, and I'm not a big spicy person, as you know, but I loved them. They were so good. They were basically a Funyun with spice. I was pretty darn impressed. They're only 70 calories for the entire bag and they range in points from two to four. So I'll put the points here on the screen for each flavor as we go over them. But I did have this one and it was absolutely delicious. There is another ring, which I'm pretty excited about. These are basically like a Funyun. So the regular onion versus the spicy. And these are also only 70 calories per bag. So I'm pretty darn excited about those. And then if you, again, like the spice, they have the fiery hot, basically like a spin on the Cheetos. So this would be like the flaming hot Cheetos, but in Pitos, oh, you guys, everything is so good. So this bake is 130 calories. And of course the points will be here on the screen. Again, I'm not a spicy person and I actually really liked the fiery 
rings. And then there are the ranch version of the crunchy curls. So again, like a Cheeto, but ranch. And these are 130 calories as well. And then there is just the traditional Cheeto. So the classic cheese, which I have a feeling I'm going to love these. So just the traditional regular Cheeto. So lots and lots of options on Pitos. Everything from fiery to ranch to cheese to Funyuns. I love Funyuns, so I'm excited. What's great about these is they have much better ingredients than regular potato chips, and they're made from peas. So you're getting in a little bit of healthy benefit from them having peas. And I noticed that the calories, I mean, they, they vary between basically 170 and 130, and there's a couple of grams of protein in each bag. So four grams in these, two grams in these. So it's definitely not a high protein snack, but in my opinion, a better choice than regular chips. And you guys, they're so, so, so good. So I'm gonna put a link down below for you guys to order with 10% off. If you're interested in trying pitos, you guys try them. The, the hype is real, the hype is legit. They're incredible. I will definitely be reordering on a regular basis. And again, we'll try one of the other flavors in today's lunch. I'm thinking I'm gonna do the classic Cheetos just because I love Cheetos and I wanna compare these to the regular Cheetos. So classic cheese, Pitos in today's lunch. All right, here is lunch. I'm having a little bit more of a point heavy lunch just because I did not have a morning snack. So let me walk you through what I'm having. So I talked to you guys about pitos. So I'm gonna try these and give you my honest opinion. I love the fiery ones. So let's see how these Cheetos are. These are four smart points. And then I have five of the Kid Fresh Chicken Nuggets. You can have five nuggets for three points, which is awesome. And I went ahead and just cooked them here in my little mini cup air fryer copper chef i'll link this down below for you guys it's under 40 dollars on amazon and i love it and then i have just a little bit of this french's honey mustard for zero to dip my chicken nuggets into and then i made this maple bourbon bacon chopped salad kit i actually got this in my imperfect foods box there's a link down below for ten dollars off your first box no minimum order, help with food waste, get fantastic deals on everything from produce to meats to salads, you name it, they have everything, it's amazing. So I got this kit off of there, went ahead and made it up. It says it makes three and a half servings per bag, so it's one cup per serving. So I went ahead and did one cup of the salad. I used everything in it. So I used the bacon, the golden honey almonds, and then the maple bourbon vinaigrette. So that is five smart points. So five for my salad, three for my nuggets makes eight, four makes 12. So this is my 12 smart point lunch and I'm so excited. Alrighty, here's what the Pitos version of Cheetos look like. Again, this is the classic cheese. So I'm excited, let's try it. All right, Cheetos, slash Pitos. So they don't taste exactly like Cheetos. The, the cheese must be like patented on Cheetos, but you guys, these are really, really good too. All of the two that, well, the two that I've had so far have been delicious. I've heard rave reviews about the ranch and then again, the Funyuns, but you can see, I mean, there's a lot in there for four points. So another win from Pitos. Make sure you're checking them down, out down below and there's a discount for you guys as well. So 10 out of 10 Pitos. It's a day of hauls. It's a great day of mail. Miss Muscle Box for the month is here. You guys know I love this subscription box so, so much. It is all fitness themed. Generally, they're snacks, products to try. They give you a full menu and workout plan. I love Miss Muscle Box. This is not a sponsored video. I actually pay for this myself because I love it that much. So let's break into this month's box. All right, look what we have. So you always get the information. So the first thing that they'll send you every month is a challenge, some type of a workout plan and a menu plan. So if that's something that you struggle with, they will literally give you workout ideas and food ideas as well. So it's actually really nice. They talk a little bit about a different type of activity. So you can see this month is why should you get your cardio sweat on? So it kind of tells you why certain movements and activities are beneficial. So I really like this, especially if, again, it's an area you struggle in doing your workouts. And then you always get a postcard feature whatever product is in your box so it looks like this month we have a journal which is exciting and then of course the piece of activewear you do get a full piece of activewear every single month which is amazing because this entire box you guys is only $30 so 
it's a definitely killer deal. And like I said, you always get snacks. So it looks like we have two snacks. I have been getting the grenade bars, the carb killer bars every single month. And I've liked every single one of them. Now I will warn you that they don't have the best ingredients, but they're actually really, really delicious and not too high in smart points. So this is the dark chocolate raspberry. So I'm excited for that. Like I said, I've liked every grenade bar that I've had. And then this is new. This is a Zen Evo cookies and cream protein cups. Ooh, that sounds good. 21 grams of protein. It is 110 or I'm sorry, 119 calories for one piece. And there are three pieces in this pack. So this pack is actually like 300 calories, but it's only hundred calories per piece. So I'm going to give you the points for the pack and for all of them again looking at the ingredients just at a quick glance not the best but not absolutely terrible so i am excited to try those and i do like that you can just have one instead of all three i see scrunchies and that's funny because i have been on this scrunchie kick because i don't like that when i work out and i put my hair in a band that it tears my hair when i go to remove them so i picked up some scrunchies in san diego so I'm pretty happy to see these fun fall colored ones. Ooh, and they're nice and soft. So I have a velvet red and a velvet orange scrunchie. And then here's the journal. I am excited about this. I am kind of a journal planner girl. So this is the GSD Fit Soft Cover Journal, your daily fitness journal designed to help you make real progress towards your goals over a 20 day period. Let's open it. Okay, I love this. 90 days you'll from now you'll thank yourself for starting. So what's awesome is you guys, this is the last 90 days of 2020, thank goodness. So this is a great way to kind of set your goals and track your fitness goals for the last 90 days. So yeah, there's tons of goals. You can actually set your goal, what, why, when, and how, your key milestones, things you need to do to reach your goal, the reward and the outcome and the date you completed it. So yeah, I love this. I am pretty excited about this. It even gives you a place to here to plan your workouts. I love it. I think it's beautiful. And again, it's a great way to end the last 90 days for fitness. So love, love, love that. And then always the star of the show is the piece of athletic wear. And it can range everything from yoga pants to shorts to tank tops. So it looks like we have a shirt this month. Let's open it. This is so cute. It says babe on it. So it's kind of a lighter kind of dusty rose color and then this is more of like a peach and it says babe it's so cute you guys and it's an actual tank it's a racer back as you can see like a racer back tank top i love it it's so cute i have literally loved every single piece of piece of athletic wear that i've gotten from my miss muscle box and it's just a great way to get to try out fun fitness gear or lounge wear around the house and let's be honest we're lounging a lot around the house these days so i love that in my opinion just the piece of athletic wear that you get in the box is worth the price of the subscription the box is only 29.99 a month for everything that you see here, which is crazy. And there is a link down below to get money off your first box. So definitely check it out. So this month for $30, I have a tank. I'm really excited about this fitness journal, a couple of snacks, and it's also fun to try new protein bars and snacks and some scrunchies, you guys. So definitely check out Musclebox, support the small business. There's a discount down below for you guys. You can't go wrong with a fitness box. I decided to have the grenade carb killer bar that came in my muscle box that you saw for an afternoon snack. This is the dark chocolate and raspberry. It's six points, but it has 20 grams of protein. And I want to try it because I have liked all of the other grenade bars. So I'm going to have this for an afternoon snack and I'll let you guys kind of know what my thoughts are. Hey guys plans have changed. You can probably hear the train. I ended up having to go out to show some houses, not what I was planning to do today, but my clients want to see these two houses before offers are looked at tomorrow. So I'm out and about. I just finished that grenade bar. Not my favorite. I didn't love it. It's probably actually the least, my least favorite grenade bar that I've had, but I ate it because I wanted to make sure that I'm full and satisfied while I'm showing houses. So here we go. All right, we're almost there and I'm late because of traffic. Literally the roads were so closed that I had to go like the longest way ever around. So I'm actually showing my clients two houses. So the first one is over here on Nixon. So 
Hopefully they like it. This one is the one that's anticipating lots of offers. All right, cruising to house number two. The first house was good, but we are looking at a second one that's just a little bigger square footage wise. In my opinion, in a little bit nicer area, so we shall see what my clients think. So we're off, we've got 0.2 miles to go. All right, so another change of plans. I was going to give you guys a dinner recipe, but it's 5.30, almost 5.40 already, and I'm gonna stop at Arby's. So I went ahead and went onto the app to look and see what some of my options are. So I'm gonna kind of talk you guys through what I'm going to get for dinner. Okay, so I'm at 28 points out of 33. So I only have five points left. So I hopped on the app and there really isn't anything for five points other than like a really small kid size fry. But I can get the crispy chicken sandwich and I've had it before and it's huge. It's huge. So I can get that for 14 points. So my thought is I'm not going to eat the bun. I'm just going to eat the chicken sandwich itself. And then when I get home, I'll pair that with some type of a fruit for zero and that way I would count it for eight points or actually I'll count it for nine points because I don't see the bun being much more than five points so I'm going to count the chicken patty itself is nine points that'll be the rest of my points for today I actually think that puts me one over and then I'll have some fruit for zero which will kind of serve as my dessert so once I get my chicken sandwich I'll show you guys what it looks like and then yeah that's gonna be it for tonight I won't be having any dessert or anything I really wanted to share a recipe with you guys but this is a prime example of just life happens and sometimes we just have to eat on the go. And if that means Arby's chicken sandwich, it means Arby's chicken sandwich. All right, so here is the chicken sandwich. So I'm just going to eat the actual chicken patty, the tomato and the lettuce and remove the bun, which is probably good because the bun honestly is a bit hard. So again, I'm gonna count this as nine points. I'm going to pair this with some fruit and that is going to be my dinner. So that finishes up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked coming along with me even though the day did not go as planned. Hey, life happens. We just have to roll with it the way that it comes. So make sure if you're new that you stick around, hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded. We'd love to have you join our community. Make sure you give this one a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out that description box down below again for all of the products that I shared with you today. We have all the hauls with all the products, so check out that description box. Also, you'll find my nutrition coaching website, the link to head on over and join me on Facebook, and of course, links and discount codes to all of my favorite things. So definitely, check out that description box. Thank you again for hanging out with me today. Happy Wednesday, my friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.